Here is how to create a simple falling object game in Python with 70 lines using Pygame. We start by importing and installing Pygame with pip install Pygame and additional the random module. Then we use Pygame to init and quit the game. Inside these, we first set up the display using the display set mode to 400 by 400 pixel. Then we initialize the time clock class. We will add the end to limit the frame rate to protect your device. Next, we set up the basket, objects, score, and lives. We start with the basket width. We set to 100 pixels. Then we create the basket using the rect class at the position x15 y380 with the past width and a height of 10 pixel. Then we define an empty objects list. Here we will add the falling objects later. The initial score will set to zero, the lives to three, and we use the font class to set the size of the score font. We reset the game when the lives get to zero. We do this by creating a reset game function. Inside here, we reset the position and the width of the basket, define the objects list, reset the score to zero and bring back the lives to three. After this, we create the game loop where we say running equals true, and while running is true, the game goes on. Inside here, we handle different things. First, when we use the event pygame quit to end the game and stop the loop, setting the running to false. The next part is for the movement of the basket. This part grabs the key that is currently pressed on the keyboard. If the left arrow key is pressed and the basket's left edge is bigger than zero, we move the basket left by decreasing the basket X position by eight pixels. And if the right arrow key is pressed and the basket's right edge is smaller than 400, we move the basket right by increasing the basket X position by eight pixels. Next, we handle object spawning. If a random number between zero and one is less than zero and zero two, we create a new 20 by 20 pixel rectangle using the rect class at a random X position between zero and 380 and Y zero, then append it to the objects list. Okay, before we move on, a quick note. I had to split this into two parts, so check out the follow-up video link